Hello, my name is Dr. Day with Innovation Dermatology. We often have a question, what should I be looking for in an atypical mole? Moles are common. The fairer skin you have, generally the more moles you will have. And as we age, we develop more moles up until about the age of 40 to 50. A simple mnemonic helps patients to identify which moles are of concern or not. Generally, we would call this the ABCDE rule. When we go through the ABCDE rule, A stands for asymmetry. If you were to take a mole, draw a line down the middle, does one side of the mole match the other? B stands for border. The border of the mole is important because if it's irregular or scalloped, it suggests that the mole under the microscope would not be nesting properly or uniformly. C stands for color. Does the mole have many different colors? Now, many of us have moles that have light brown and dark brown colors. That's not what I'm talking about here today. What I'm talking about are colors like jet black, blue, red, white, accompanied by brown and light brown color change. The next is diameter. Although many people are born with birthmarks or what we call a congenital mole that are larger than six millimeters, those generally will grow with us through adolescence and then stay a uniform size. What we're talking about when we talk about diameter is a new mole that has increased in size beyond about the tip of a pencil or six millimeters. If you have asymmetry, irregular borders, multiple colors, or increasing size, you would then meet criteria E, elevated and evolving, an evolving or changing mole. If you've answered yes to those questions, then certainly that's a mole worth having reviewed by your physician or dermatologist. And importantly, don't forget your sunscreen. In a recent study in New York, daily application of sunscreen in patients who already had melanoma helped reduce their risk by up to half. Thank you. Have a great day.